Coach Darrell Brown, Grimsley High School, just finished practice for a Friday. Coach, got two days under your belt now. How's practice going so far for you? That's been going really well. Um, our kids are working hard and um, getting great effort from them and getting a little bit better every day. Obviously, there's things that we want to improve on, but uh, right now, I'm pleased with our effort. What's it going to take for Grimms to be successful this year? For Grimms to have success, and he had success last year, you're still building. Yeah. To carry that and continue that, what's it take this year to make this team the team you want it to be? Just a lot of the same things that we preach and talk about, you know, being disciplined, and playing tough, and playing together, and just making sure we do a lot of the little things right because, um, you know, we're not always going to be the biggest or the fastest. So we got to make sure that we pay attention to detail and take care of the little things and that we're a sound, tough football team. If we do that, we'll continue to move in the right direction. You've got a pretty good foundation here so far, haven't you? Yeah, we're, we're pleased in the direction things are going. We've gotten a little better every year. And, um, we set some new um, bars last year and did some things that hadn't been done here in a while. So we just want to keep building, get, keep getting better. It's a new team, new year. So uh, we're just focused on these guys this year. What's your warning for the teams around the county? I know you guys got a saying on uh, Twitter, I think, fear the world is or fear the growth. You guys want to get some respect, let people know you're here. And I guess most importantly, just uh, take care of business, too. Yeah, I mean, you get respect, you have to earn that, you know. So uh, we, we, we just got to worry about ourselves and, um, you know, make sure that, that we're working hard and working together and um, our kids are focused on what it is we want from them. And, um, we just try to get better each and every week, and uh, the results will take care of themselves. So, um, you know, yeah, to get respect, you, you earn that, and so that's what we're looking to do. What's your warning to your players? What do you tell these guys going in to be prepared for and to be aware of? And uh, I guess it's a 24-7 thing now. Once the season starts, you, these kids are yours. It's 24-7 pretty much. they got to be thinking about this all the time. What do you, what do you, warn you, what do you tell these kids? Yeah, we, we see them a lot, and so they're with us a lot. But um, they, they understand the challenges that we face. We play what I feel like is an extremely tough schedule. And um, we know no Northern Guilford's a really good football team, well coached. And um, they return 27, 28 seniors that are really good players. So they understand the, the challenges and the tasks that, that await us. So, um, you know, they, they're coming to work each and every day, um, understanding what's ahead and knowing that we got to get better. How far can this team go this year, you think? Uh, that's to be determined. We'll see um, as we move throughout the year. It's a long season, and we're just focused on uh, what we got to do right now. Do you pick up where you left off last year? Do you think maybe last thing was like seven and six last year? Is that right? Yeah, we went seven and six last year. And do you pick up from there and just build from there? You don't have to go over and start. So you got a quarterback returning. That makes a big difference too. So you just pick up at seven and six and just fly from there. Well, it's, it's big having a returning quarterback, returning running back, and a lot of guys on defense that were young last year and, and played uh, quite a bit for us. But uh, it's a new year, so you know you're gonna face new challenges, new obstacles. You know your personnel changes a little bit, so we have to tweak some things with what our personnel allows us to do. So we don't really talk much about last year. Um, you know because that's in the past, and that, and that was last year's team. They accomplished those things. So we're focused on this group and um, set new goals and new ex new things for these guys to accomplish. What's the word you tell these guys before you start every practice, before you start every game? What are you telling these What's a key word or a key phrase you guys may be using this year, a motto or something to kind of inspire these guys to keep them riding? Well, I mean, if we had some kind of little motto, I guess it would be, um, you know, just kind of raise the bar because um, – we felt like last year's team did some things different that hadn't been done here in a while. So we want to take that, build on it, and raise it um, to another level because we definitely can still get a lot better. So uh, we want to raise things uh, to another level. Coach, thanks for your time today. Keep up the good work. All right, appreciate it.